Well, we love our sports teams here in the city of trees, and maybe you're looking for another regional team to cheer on. Mm. Have you seen this? This is very cool. The WNBA is coming back to Portland. Wow. Uh, the, the league announced that they're awarding Oregon's biggest city a brand new team, and they'll start playing in 2026. Portland did have a uh, WNBA team from 2000 until 2002. They were the Portland Fire. They went out of business pretty quickly, though. So this will be the third expansion team coming to the WNBA over the last few years. That uh, also included the Golden State team and the Toronto team. So 15 teams in total will now Incredible. be in the WNBA. Uh, it's, it's really grown in popularity, and it's mm -hmm. on television all the time, and it's got high-quality production value. It's a lot of fun to watch, too. I'm so excited for this. I love that it's expanding. Honestly, I can't say that I'm a religious fan where I'm watching all the time, but as a, you know, sideline spectator, this is great. It's just fun to watch Caitlin Clark, too. Yeah, that, yeah, that too. A lot of Big fun. time. All right, the annual list of finalists for the Strong National Museum of Play is out. The museum announced the 12 finalists who will battle it out to be in the final five. Some standouts in this year's list, balloons, the hobby horse, games including Pokemon, Apples to Apples, My Little Pony, and Hess Toy Trucks. As of today, fans can vote for their favorite online. Voting ends next Wednesday, September 25th. Joe, I think I know what your vote was. I'm just disappointed that Pokemon's not already in the Hall of Fame. Pokemon's like my favorite thing. Yes. And it's been out since the 90s. How is yes. it just getting in it now? I don't know, but I guess better late than never. Okay, better mm -hmm. late than never. Mm -hmm. Apples to Apples, also a good That's card also game. That's also a good one, yeah. Very different card game. Okay, good news for coffee lovers. Did you know two or three cups a day of coffee could mean a lower risk of heart disease? Mm. That's according to a new study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Meta uh, Meta Metabolism. Metabolism. That's it. Which found that people who consume 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine a day, including caffeinated tea, those people were less likely to develop coronary heart disease, type 2 diabetes, or have a stroke. Coffee drinkers in particular have the lowest risk with nearly a 50% reduction. Whoa. Yeah, among those who did eventually develop the cardiometabolic disease, drinking moderate amounts of coffee every day was still associated with lower risk of developing another cardiometabolic disease. However, experts warn that some types of heart disease can make caffeine intake more dangerous. Mm. Uh, Sophia, it seems like coffee chocolate, mm -hmm. milk, wine, every few years a new survey comes out. It's yeah. good for you, it's bad for yeah. you, it's good for you, it's bad for you. Good for you a little bit, too much, not, not good, too little, maybe not good too. Everything in moderation. Okay, we're gonna take a break. We'll come back with the real report and later on, Sophia's weather.